what's going on guys so today is Thursday and I decided to film a video for you guys today I want to update you guys on a couple of things and today is actually my leg day so I decided I was going to go ahead and film a video for you guys today and also I need to get on that video making grind so yeah so I just came back from a meeting I had with my company tutor I think you call it and we were discussing the different options I have for a project thesis uh, I will start in September, as some of you may know, or if you don't, I'm almost finishing my uh, electrical engineering bachelor degree. So uh, I need a project for September, and I will be doing a project for 17 weeks. I just finished my internship with this company, and they offered me the opportunity to do another project with them. So that's a great chance and a great opportunity, and I like the company very much. Yeah, so I thought I'd let you guys uh, know what was going on with that. So. As I said, today is uh, Thursday and it's actually my leg day, but guys, I haven't been to the gym in almost a week, a week, and that's because the last three days since Monday, I've been sick, I've been just laying in bed, uh, my body was just hurting all over the place, I had like fever and that kind of stuff, so man, 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 I haven't been to the gym since last Friday, I think, so it's killing me. Killing me, I can feel my gain just going away, going away. So today I'm going to be back, but I don't know if I'm uh, gonna train legs because the fact that I haven't been to the gym for so long, you know, I was thinking about maybe doing a full body routine. So I still don't know. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. So when the time comes, I will decide uh, what I will train eventually. But yeah, that's that. I also want to update you guys on what my current weight is and I weighed myself today and I was 73.3 kg. Now I believe I have gained a lot of fat in the last uh, two and a half months since my competition. Not a lot, but just at least, you know, my abs are not as visible as they were back then. So um, I'm going to Aruba, I'm going back home in about a month. So what I wanted to do is actually do a mini comp. The reason for that is that in Aruba I won't be tracking any macros, I won't be following any diet whatsoever. So that means that I will be gaining a lot, a lot of fat. So in order to keep that fat weight and, and, and that uh, fat per percentage at, at a low rate, I want to go in a decent shape to Aruba. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. So my plan was this week to just decrease my calories by 300 and just do around maintenance and after that I was gonna do carb cycling for four weeks so that is really the plan right now I lowered my calories but since I uh, was sick you know I wasn't eating enough I didn't feel like eating and that kind of stuff but the last two days I still tried to reach my calories and, and reach my macros so I'm gonna finish this week with my calories still on maintenance level and after this week I'm gonna be doing carb cycling and the reason I'm gonna be doing carb cycling is because I only have four weeks guys I said I was 73 kg so I'm guessing I need to lose like 3 kg in order to you know reach a, a decent uh, body fat percentage I believe that carb cycling is uh, the fastest way to lose uh, body fat and to lose weight I won't get into much detail about it but the reason is that you know your body doesn't get used to one specific amount of calories or one specific amount of macros what it basically means is that each day you have a let us say for example a high carb day then you gradually reduce the carbs and then you have a high carb day again and then you gradually reduce the carbs again and then you have a high carb day again so this way your body never gets used to a specific amount of macros and you don't hit a plateau you know your body is constantly adapting to the new macro set of macros that you are eating each and every day and this way you would uh, keep the uh, fat loss process you know uh, going without hitting a plateau effect. so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next four weeks I am also going to Paris for the weekend uh, around mid-June that is probably gonna be my only only cheat meal I'm gonna have during these four weeks as I said I only have four weeks so if I really want to lose these uh, 3 kg then I really you know need to be consistent with the diet and uh, not mess around uh, on the weekends and that kind of stuff so yeah that's that so I'm feeling better I'm feeling good it's time to train it's time to kill it today so I will see you guys later when I have you know my pre-workout meal and when I eventually go to train so I hope you guys stick with me for the rest of this video every time you
you two are getting rough My mind just sounds like Shia LaBeouf If it says no, 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 no Just no, 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 no And every time I see him with you My heart sounds like Shia LaBeouf Do no, 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 no No, 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 no,
still have some carbs left but I don't know if I, uh, I'm gonna eat the carbs because I feel a little bit bloated so I don't want to go to sleep like that so yeah I still need to cook the chicken and I hope you guys enjoyed that workout man it's actually the first time I really did a full body workout so it was I, I felt pretty good besides the fact that it was you know four o'clock in the morning but <laughs> it, it felt really good and, and uh, I liked it a lot so yeah, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed uh, all of the clips I got. So, yeah, that's the plan right now. Eat this meal and go to sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, see you soon. Later, guys.